Hey everyone, I am Dinesh. Today I am going to teach you how to create product bundle in Max Bundle app to maximize your sales and boost your average order value. Let's create a bundle and choose product bundle. In bundle name, you can write it anything. This will not visible to customer end. In title, for example, I write combo bundle. In button text, you can write it anything. For now, I leave it as it is. Now we have two types of product bundle. The first one, display a bundle widget. This will create a bundle and display on product page. The second one is create a separate product bundle. This will create a standalone product bundle. But we'll discuss this in our next video. For now, I'll choose the first option. Now, display bundle on. So either you can display on all products or you can display on specific collection or you can display on specific product. For example, I choose any one product. Let's suppose I choose this one. Now bundle products. So you have to choose at least two products to create a bundle. For example, I choose any two product. Let's suppose I add this one and this one, add it. You can also see the live preview here. And you can also customize the quantity here. You can decrease it, increase it as per your need. Now we have three types of discount types. The first one is percentage. The second one, fixed amount. The third one is flat price. So you can also disable this if you don't want to offer any kind of discount. You can simply turn it off. Let's suppose I want to offer a flat price at triple line. You can also see the live preview here. Now, if you want to create a separate bundle page, you can create it by using like simply check this checkbox. This will create a specific bundle page. Now coming to the advanced settings. Let's if you don't want to display a bundle variants, you can simply uncheck this checkbox. Same as to here. Like if you don't want to display a compare price, you can simply uncheck this checkbox. And if you want to display a countdown timer, you have to enable it. For now, I'll leave it as it is and let's save it. Yes, the bundle is created successfully. You also got a message here. I just created the product bundle. Let's view on our live store. Here it is. This is the product bundle. Let's customize it as per our store colors. Navigate to the customization page and you have to choose product bundle. Now we already like offer a preset layout. You can choose it as per your brand color. For example, I choose this one. And in bundle styles, you can either you can display on list view or you can display on grid view. For more customization, you can also enable the background. Let's suppose I enable it and you can also display the use save batch. And let's suppose I don't want to display a total banner. Let's hide it. And there are a bunch more customization, the border color. Let's suppose I want to like in a gray color. You can also customize the price color, the variance, the add to cart. In add to cart button, you can't hide the add to cart button. Okay. And you can choose the various types of icon here. Also the animation. And there are a bunch more features. For now, I'll leave it as it is and save it. Let's refresh the page. You see the customization is applied perfectly. Let's add to cart. Yes, the discount is applied perfectly. Let's navigate to the product page. So what if the bundle is not displayed on your product page? So you have to do one thing. You have to add app lock from Shopify theme customization. Let me go through it. Simply click on customization.
and you have to choose products default product let's suppose click on product main product and as you can see i already added a app block as my team supports app block so i can add it let's suppose i want to add above the product form choose product bundle and let's suppose i want to hide this one the below one and save it simply refresh the page you can see the product bundle is above the add to cart button that simple and what if your theme doesn't support the 2.0 or doesn't support the app block nothing else just you need to navigate on our installation page click on installation page now you have to choose manual installation we have provided a proper guide how to add code snippet in your liquid file you just created the product bundle you just need to copy this one and navigate to the shopify the main product liquid file and paste the code snippet wherever you want to display the bundle that's it simple and if you have any kind of query you can comment this in video below or you can simply reach out to our support team that's all for now thank you and have a great day